me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the February webinar. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. See if you guys can't finish that song in the uh, comments. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know where you guys are joining from. Um, today we are going to talk about baseball and softball uniform ideas that you will love. Uh, my name is Dan Kane uh, here at Transfer Express. I'm uh, going to be taking you through some of those uniform ideas maybe that you're not aware of. Um, show you a couple different techniques. Um, and uh, maybe some ways to make some profit here. So uh, looking forward to this webinar. Uh, it will be available um, at the uh, conclusion as well. So uh, thanks. Got some uh, baseball fans in here. Yep, pitchers and catchers have reported. So uh, we are excited. Go Tribe. All right, we will go ahead and get started. Again, we're going to talk about some uh, 2019 decorating tips, uh, cost-saving tips on leagues and teams, uh, adding names and numbers to jerseys, uh, and on sale opportunities and profitable uh, spirit wear. So we, you see we got our youngsters down here um, all geared up for, you know, T-ball baseball season that's right around the corner. So art for your uniforms, um, as you see here, is our uh, idea book that you could purchase separately, a personalized uh, uh, copy of that for $15, or go ahead and get the whole marketing kit for $49. Or if you're at a, a trade show, we are um, we always offer those uh, for $35. Uh, I have a couple trade shows coming up that we'll talk about at the end. Um, but uh, there's we have over 300, or we not over, we have 320 baseball and softball layouts. Um, available to you in in the idea book uh, as well as on the easy view designer so if you are looking for art ideas you know someone comes into you uh says they do need uh you know some jerseys printed up or you know just uh, uh shirts for the baseball team they don't have anywhere to, to start with art uh but they have a team name and a mascot you know just go ahead and turn to that baseball page of the um Idea book and uh, you know have the customer pick one out and go ahead and in, into the designer and personalize it for them. Very easy to do uh, and a very good way to uh, make some profit. We have some cool new um, baseball layouts in there. I think this is our new page. Most of these on this page um, are new. I like this one that my uh, pencils point at here. That's one of my favorite new ones that we have. Uh, as well as this one up here is popular and this one um, also. So again, as I talked about on the last slide, uh, hopefully you, you all are familiar with the um, uh, Easy View Designer, and that way when your customer does give you a layout, and in this case is QBA 317, uh, you know it's it says the Compton baseball in the book. Uh, but we went ahead and personalized this with Hampton, took out the baseball, added an alligator mascot in there. Um, very easy to do in the online designer. Um, as you guys all commented, some of you uh, finished uh, the Take Me Out to the Ball Game song, uh, as well as if you have any questions, uh, I didn't mention that before, so I apologize. If you do have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. Uh, I'll try to answer them in live time, or uh, we have um, some people, uh, wizards, wizards of odds behind the, the curtains that uh, be able to answer any questions that you do have here. So, uh, again, just easy. You know, find the layout, bring it into easy view, choose it, change it, press it. Easy as that. Again, another layout here, QBA 202. Um, very simple. You know, took Compton, made it Grafton. Instead of baseballs, we went with the mascot again, Grizzlies. Took the year out um, of the, the baseball clip art and choose it, change it, press it. E easy as that. So always be utilizing your online designer there. Another new popular layout is the QBA 182. Uh, in this case, we. Uh, did a two-color design. You could do single-color, multi-color, but uh, did a two-color design um, and changed it. And this, you know, this is a good way to to decorate leagues um, as well. If you're doing like a whole league, obviously there's going to be different team names. You know, Cubs, Indians, Braves, Red Sox. I see. Uh, sorry if we missed your team, but uh, you know, you could keep the same layout. And if it's a city or something, uh, in this case, I'll use uh, Lynnhurst. You know, you could do Lynnhurst. Cubs baseball in Cubs colors, Lynnhurst 
Indians baseball and uh, Indians colors and so on and so on. So you're, you're keeping the same design for the whole league, uh, but obviously changing up the team names. This one we had a little bling to uh, Sue, our master um, creator, I should, should say. One of the best that we do weekly shirts. Sue always uh, surprises us with what she can do. And in this case, she um, took layout KBA 305, uh, obviously made her adjustments here, uh, East Coast diamonds. And at the end here, she put in a diamond clip art and then left a little bit of space and then ordered a uh, diamond rhinestone transfer. Uh, and so in that case, she um, pressed the elastic print transfer here. And then um, if you, she noted to our designers, and you can do it in easy view, is to leave a blank space and let us know the size that you want to put that rhinestone um, piece in. And then obviously order that rhinestone as a separate transfer. It adds a little bling, adds a little value to the um, um, to the garment. So uh, you know, in this case, on the picture, it's probably a little bit harder to see. Um, we will be sending this out to shows, probably Atlantic City. Um, as well as some other upcoming shows here. It's pretty cool to see in person, but it, you get a nice bling effect um, by doing that. So very easy to do and uh, very creative. Uh, another layout, popular, easy layout, great baseball layout is this QBA-170, one of our most popular. Uh, it's got the baseball laces, baseball strings, I should say. And uh, just go ahead and take Compton Baseball, make it whatever you want it to say. Another great way to do leagues as well is uh, basic script tails. Um, in this, you know, we have a lot of different script tails. Still a very popular way to decorate a garment, whether it be a split front or a full front, like this little t-ball player here. And um, again, you could do the whole league with a script tail. Uh, again, just making your customizations in the easy view, choosing your colors, whether you're doing one color or two colors. These are some more. Um, clip arts and layouts that we just added this month. Um, so uh, again, lots of options for you, lots of options for your customer. Um, and again, look into that uh, uh, idea book. If, if you don't have one, um, I suggest getting one. It's a great tool to have. Um, again, only $15 or the whole kit for $49. Um, but you get access to all these. And again, we did add these. Uh, so these are now available in your online designer. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of this one lately. Um, is QBA 318, very popular. And uh, some cool new clip arts here. This home plate clip arts, pretty nice. Got a helmet with a face mask, uh, another tail. So again, utilize these in the designer. If you've taken one of my educations at a trade show, you will hear me sound like a broken record, always saying maximize your sheet space. Um, it's cost savings. Uh, you know, fill the sheet. So in this case, uh, we loaded up this sheet with two full fronts, one, two. So you're eight, you're knocking out two jerseys, okay? Uh, we added like a league patch, this could be called, okay, that you added to, to the upper chest area here. Um, all these different arrowhead clip arts, and again, a, a B. So you could put these on the back if you're not doing a name, um, on the sleeve, spirit wear, so again, you're you're just you're paying for the sheet. Always remember that when you're ordering the transfers, uh, sheet and color. So always maximize your sheet space. Um, I've been known to go back into production and and see sheets not filled up and call customers and ask them why they're wasting the money, um, because again, once you're paying for that sheet with one image on there, uh, you're paying for the whole sheet. So we 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 encourage you to to load that sheet up, because in this case, you know I told I said sleeves or backs. But realistically, you're able to get two fronts, two league logos, two caps with the Bs, and then extra logos for uh, pants, um, windbreakers, whatever, uh, you know, any extra garment, any upsell that you could do for your customer. And then the numbers are sold separately, and I think we're going to get to that here in a, in a few slides. So we'll talk about the numbers in a few slides here. Okay. Um, we have the sponsor sheets. Um, there's a couple different sponsor sheets that it basically it's the size of the, the text, one line text. Uh, and what 
if you're doing a local little league, um, you know, some I know leagues around here uh, in Northeast Ohio, you know, they'll do the Cubs, the Indians, um, Red Sox, Braves, unfortunately Yankees. Sorry if you're from New York, but um, they'll put those on the front, and instead of putting the um, the uh, players' name on the back, they will go to local businesses and find sponsors. Uh, so in this case, you'll see here we have you know black jersey, red jersey, navy, maroon, green, and uh, blue. And what it is is all these different local businesses. So now you're sponsoring the, the 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 local business is sponsoring you know whether it be the Cubs, Indians, or whatever, and they're getting some exposure on the back. And uh, uh, in this particular sponsor sheet, you're able to fit you know, uh, six different sponsors on that one sheet. Um, so again, you, you know, if you're doing a 12 team league, that's really only two orders that you have to do to get all 12 of your sponsors on the back of the jerseys. So again, a great way uh, to, to save money, a great way to support local businesses and a great way for the local businesses uh, to support the youth sports. Okay. Uh, another thing is you can add. Obviously, um, you know, parents want to support their children, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, whatever it might be. So in this case, we did one of those uh, new popular baseball designs, QBA 318, um, and uh, we were able to get the uniform, you know, for the players on there, and then we were able to print mom up a shirt. So now, you know, you're going to all the moms and try to upsell them uh, that they want to, you know, support the, uh, in this case, men or cardinals team. Uh, and just, you know, they're men or cardinals mom, so they could wear it loud, wear it proud. Um, so uh, you could also use express names um, in purple to, to do that as well. If you don't do it on your sheet, you could always press an express name, you know, a smaller express name uh, over the ink there. So um, great ideas there, you know, and, and once one mom sees the shirt, you know, then the next mom is going to want one and the next mom is going to want one. And it's just extra profit in your in your pocket there. So adding names and numbers, obviously, you know, usually uh, any sport you see, uh, players' jerseys do have a numbers on it. Um, and in uh, the case here at Transfer Express, we do sell individual number packs uh, and packs of five. So if you order a pack of fours, you're getting five number fours in that pack. Um, excuse me. Uh, number Express Packs, which is a great way um, to do a, uh, a team. Um, in uh, Express Pack, you get five of every digit um, of 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then also uh, 15 number ones. Obviously, one is probably the most uh, popular number, as well as Chicago saying the loneliest number. Uh, but you do get um, 15 number ones and then five of every other digit, and then a kit. You get 315 digits, um, and this will number uh, a whole league, um, 15 teams, 1 to 15. So if you're going in numerical order, um, you know, just every, you know, players don't get to select their numbers. You're just doing one through 15. This kit will get you uh, 15 teams numbered. We have this league numbers calculator. So this will show you all the different styles uh, that our numbers come in. Champ being the most popular. Um, I'm a fan of the All-Star because the All-Star has some show through. So you kind of get the two color look with the jersey coming through. Uh, we also have one and two color champ as well as a couple different cool styles down here. Um, so this will, if you put in the number of teams, uh, and again, if you're going in numerical order um, and you put in um, the starting player number of 1 to 25, whatever you need, uh, and once you choose your style and your size, they come in 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, and 10 inch, it will calculate um, and let you know how many digits uh, you need. Um, and which what the most cost effective way to order them as well. So it'll calculate whether uh, it's most cost effective to for you to do individual uh, five packs uh, if you're better off getting the express pack or if you're uh, better off getting the kit. Uh, names, um, the express names. Uh, I, I did want to state um, the uh, numbers do uh, ship same day before three um, uh, three p.m. Eastern if you're on the uh, eastern half of the country. Uh, and then 3 p.m. Pacific if you're on the uh, western side of the country. So um, they do ship same day before those times. Um, then our names, our express names are $1.75 per name. 
this is great if you have the roster uh, and each you know each player does get their name on the back of the jersey. Um, we sell them in uh, the straight arch or vertical. Uh, most popular for jerseys is either going to be the uh, straight or um, arched. Uh, six different fonts that we have. Uh, they'll come in one inch tall, two inch tall, two and a half inch tall, or three inch tall. And if you're doing the two, two and a half, three inch, it'll be either nine inches, uh, maximum of nine inches, 11 inches, or 14 inches. Um, now, obviously, if you're doing a, a short last name like mine, K A N E, and you are choosing 14 inches, we're, you know, we don't, we're not going to stretch the whole name 14 inches. We're going to do it in proportion. Um, but again, the, the, so the 14 or the 11 or the 9 is going to be your maximum width. Um, and all the different colors that they come in. So uh, a great way to add personalization. And um, again, for only $1.75 a name, great way to add some profit. The perfect pairing alignment. We did a poll on Facebook because um, we were we were house divided here um, at Transfer Express. Um, I personally, you know, our our graphic is showing you put the name down first. In this case, if you're doing a double digit number, uh, you'd put the name down. You'd take your first digit, position it under the name, almost touching. You'll take your second digit right under the name, touching your um, your first digit, and press away. Um, you know, uh, very easy to do. I, I personally um, actually put the numbers down first and then do the name. Um, so again, uh, pick your poison there. Either way will work, uh, but it is all one application. So if you're doing the names and numbers, uh, it is just one application, very easy to do. Touch the edges, press and peel. Banners. Banners are a great way, um, if, especially, you know, you'll more so see if you're ever watching the Little League World Series, um, you know, maybe in your local town, um, if you're doing even a house league or, or more so a travel league, uh, a team banner um, is very popular that uh, teams will hang up on the dugout for every game. Um, you know, this personalized one has each kid's name and number that they are uh, with their team name and mascot um, with a sponsor on there. Um, if you're doing a tournament, you know, you can put different uh, banners up around the city promoting the tournament. You can even put it, do a banner of a team photo. Um, but these are very uh, good add-ons to the team. Team comes in for a jersey and you, you offer them a banner. You know, maybe they don't think twice about it. And again, this is a very popular one that I see often where each kid is getting their names. You have the coaches on there. Um, and again, a sponsor uh, supporting a local business. I see... Um, Mariano, the typical cost, I'm sure Sue will answer it. it those are priced um, based, uh, you know, uh, per square inch. Um, so um, if you, we actually have a calculator online as well. If you put what size you're going to be doing, you can also design these in the online designer. Um, and if you um, if you put the size of the calculator, it'll, it'll populate the cost for you. I saw Sue just answered, but we do do um, stickers. So, you know, if each kid, you know, does a, a helmet or I remember when I was in Little League, you know, um, each team got a bag with about six helmets, um, you know, with a, a letter L uh, stickered on there. Um, so very easy to do. Um, great way to, to sell to the league. Um, window decals supporting your team, um, your, your, your uh, child's team. Um, Again, per piece, per square inch pricing, very cost effective, full color look. You go right on uh, your vehicle window um, in your home, um, stickers on anything you can imagine. Um, you have bat bags that you could print on, hats, jerseys, okay, anything you could think of, anything you can upsell, uh, we, we have that for you. So um, do not hesitate to try to, to upsell on some of this stuff. Spirit wear, again, we talked about softball mom, and again, um, you know, moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, they're going to want to support their 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 little uh, player, uh, their little son or daughter, um, and again, once one mom sees it, you know, then, then it's a domino effect, then everyone wants one, um, so very easy to do there, uh, pretty cool layout here that I like, uh, this is a pretty cool look as well, kind of tone on tone, um, little, you know, kind of more uh, of a, a worn out look, but um, any type of spirit wear to, to local fans 
uh, is a great way. You know, don't just do the jerseys. You know, think of the fans as well that are there to, to support the teams. Just a couple more ideas for you here. Pretty cool placement here. Um, you know, baseball stitch down the side there, up the side here, with just the team name. Um, so again, think of different placements that you could do. You know, don't just always think of the, the front. You know, anything that you could do, any different placements while you're while you're doing what? And I don't have you live, but while you're maximizing your sheet, anything you could fit on there. Um, okay, and think of uh, different uh, placements on the garment that you could do. Uh, then we, you know, have a hat here and just a little guy getting ready to go to the plate. Uh, pretty happy. So um, two different layouts here, QTY75 and QBA112. E easy to customize. Pretty cool angry baseball here, QBA121, very easy to personalize. Uh, another popular um, shirt as well for any team. Uh, you know, we talked about it on the banner, but you could also do um, any of our roster layouts or um, you know, team layouts where, again, everyone is getting their, each kid is getting their name and number on there, so it lists all the players of the team, team manager, mascot, bat boy, coaches, whatever you want to add on there. And each kid on their team is getting one, uh, you know, to, to remember this is a championship. So you go to a local tournament, um, you know, maybe you're selling on-site at the tournament. You see who wins the tournament. You approach, approach the coach uh, and tell me that you could do a, a, a commemorating shirt of, of the team winning the championship with all the players on it. Um, I know I got one of these when I was younger, um, and, and they're act they, I loved it, um, and, and kids love it as well. See them wearing it all around to proud of their accomplishment and proud of their teammates. So and that's it uh, for you. Um, pretty basic, um, pretty cool stuff, pretty um, easy stuff. Um, again, I'll say it one more time, maximize your sheet space. Think of all the different placements that you could use. Um, if you do have any more questions on anything, um, Baseball or softball decorating related or decorating related in general, stay in touch. Uh, we are here to help you grow your business. You can always email us uh, at info at transferexpress.com. Go to our blogs, watch our videos and previous webinars. So, again, this webinar um, will be available. Uh, our website, visit us at trade shows. We have uh, trade, two trade shows next week. If you are in the Kansas City, Missouri area, we have the Decorated Apparel Showcase, DAX show there. That is next Friday and Saturday. Uh, if you are in the Greenville, South Carolina um, area, we have what's called the Everything Embroidery Mart Show, and that show is uh, Thursday and Friday. Um, so if you're in those areas, check us out. Uh, you can always connect with us on social media, and our customer service team is here uh, to help as well at the 800-622-2280. No such thing as a stupid question, folks. And we are here 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern till 11 p.m. Eastern. So we're, we are open late for you uh, Pacific Coast customers uh, here to help you. So um, please reach out to us and uh, please join us for our next webinar, um, which is going to be growing your circuit and silhouette t-shirt businesses. So if you're um, just a crafter right now, you're doing some little stuff, we're going to come out, uh, have some great ideas on how these custom screen printed transfers will, will help you grow your business. That'll be March 14th at 2 p.m. Uh, so we hope to see you registered. Hope you join us. And um, I greatly appreciate you joining me here. So uh, thanks so much. Hope that you learned something. And remember, it's always root, root, root for the home team. Have a great day, everybody.